Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to another edition of our prayers for tonight. I hope you've had a very good week so far. I pray that the rest of this week will be a blessing to each and every one of you. We'd like to say a big welcome to those of you on Facebook. I can see you coming on. I pray the Lord will make you enjoy this. But I don't want you to enjoy and be blessed by this alone. Do us a favor by sharing this link and letting your friends on Facebook know about this so they can join us and so they can be blessed too. And for our friends on Spreaker, thank you so much on the podcast for joining us. You're going to be blessed tonight, becoming a fenced, brazen wall. That's what the theme for the prayers for tonight are. So please help us share on the podcast also. It's as simple as sharing the link. And those of you on Mix LR also, do us a favor. Help us spread the word so that others can join us and be blessed. If you know someone even on the prayer line that's not available tonight. Call them and make them available so they can be blessed as we pray together. Thank you all so much for joining us. Father, bless us. Open our eyes, open our ears. Give us the grace to be able to pray with understanding. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. All God's people everywhere said amen and amen. The theme for today and tomorrow is becoming a fenced, brazen wall. Yes, becoming a fenced, brazen wall. Our scripture is taken from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15. Reading there in verse number 20 and 21. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith The Lord. Verse 21. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. Wow. It might interest you to know that part of the promise God makes to Jeremiah here in chapter 15 was actually a repetition of the one God made to him way back in chapter 1. Yes. Look at it in chapter 1 verse 18. Jeremiah. For behold, I have made thee a defensed city and an iron pillar and bracing walls against the whole land, against the kings of Judah, against the princes thereof, against the priests thereof, and against the people of the land. So this promise that God was making to uh, Jeremiah is not new. He had made it 15 chapters before now. The big question is this. How come? How come God repeated the same promise to him 15 chapters later? The reason is very simple, folks. What happened was this. After 15 chapters... Jeremiah had been put through a lot by the hardened people that he was sent to. The pressure of his calling 
was now beginning to wear him down and introduce doubt and fear into his life. Can you believe this? I'm going to tell you something that will surprise you. Can you believe it got to a time that Jeremiah actually said to God, why have you deceived me? <laughs> That's how bad things were. He said to God, you have deceived me. He was beginning to regret. He was beginning to lament ever agreeing to take up the position of a prophet to these very wicked people. The excitement that he once had about his calling was no longer as sharp as it used to be. So what did God do? In his mercy, God visited Jeremiah and he told him, return to me, my friend. Repent of all the things you have said. Repent of all the thoughts that you have allowed to go through your mind. Repent of the fear, of the doubt, of the regret. I'm still God. I change not. Come back to me. So God encouraged him and he said, Jeremiah, don't be bothered by the deceitful, wicked words of the people. But just go ahead, Jeremiah, and declare the message that I have given to you. God then proceeded to give him these powerful words that form the basis of our prayers for tonight. Look at it again in verse 20. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee to save thee and to deliver thee, saith the Lord. And I will deliver thee out of the hand of the wicked. And I will redeem thee out of the hand of the terrible. You know what I say to that? Amen and amen. By these promises to Jeremiah, God was saying three things to him. And he's saying those three things to us tonight. What are those three things? Listen very closely. Firstly, servants of God and the people of God have the people of the world around them that fight them. And they use all kinds of means to fight them with terrible outcomes as their goals. The attacks can be so bad that one needs to be made a brazen wall in order to survive the attacks. Many of us are living witnesses to that. But there's a second thing God is trying to pass across to us from these words, and that is this. There are people in the world around you, all right, that God himself Tagged wicked people. Wicked people. And if they are allowed, they walk wickedness to others. Even to God's people, against God's people, as godly as Jeremiah was. But I said, third thing that God is putting across to us here, and it is this. There are not only wicked people in the world. God went from wicked people to terrible people. My goodness. Terrible people in the world. And they do terrible things to others. If they are allowed. Even Jeremiah, a mighty prophet of God was a target of those three realities that I just said to you. If a man like him was, we cannot afford to pay little or no attention to the presence of these realities. Folks, let no man deceive you. Don't wave off those three truths. If you do, 
you open yourself to danger. There are wicked people. There are terrible people. And there are people who are ready to fight and to attack. Even the people of God. No wonder Jesus Christ said, pray, deliver us from evil. There is evil in the world. And there are wicked people in the world. Whoever tells you otherwise is not being sincere to you. Now these realities made God to give Jeremiah five promises. Five beautiful promises. They will form the basis of our prayers for tonight. Let me share the five with you and then we'll go and pray. Number one. God said, I will make thee unto this people a fenced, brazen wall. You know what that implies? A brazen wall implies an enclosure, all right? A fortification, and it also implies security. In other words, I'll keep you inside these concrete walls. I'll keep you inside these metallic brass walls. And nobody that wants to harm you will be able to gain access to you. It's not just a wooden wall. It is a metallic one made with brass, impregnable, if you will. That was the first promise of God. How would you like to hide and to be hidden by God in such a fortified, safe place? I do. And we're going to claim that from God tonight. But there's a second truth here, a second promise. He said, I will make sure that though they fight, they will not prevail against you. Isn't that beautiful? God did not ask him not to pray that they will not fight him. Because that's a waste of time. It's a waste of time trying to pray, oh Lord, let me not have warfare. Oh Lord, let nobody fight me. Oh Lord, let nobody hate me. Oh Lord, let nobody do this. Let nobody do that. People will do this and people will do that. That's guaranteed. God did not ask Jeremiah, pray that they don't fight you. They can fight if they choose. But it will be a waste of time. God promised Jeremiah, I will protect you from the fighters and from the attackers that are around you. It will be an exercise in futility. Look at promise number three. He said, I'll be with you to save you. Wow. I will be with you to save you. That means there are things that can happen to you as a believer (laughs) that will require the salvation of God. But I say fourth promise. He said, I will be with you to deliver you from the hand of the wicked. That's promise number four. But I say promise number five. I will redeem you out of the hand of the terrible. So there's the wicked, there's the terrible, and God said, don't worry about them. I will deliver you, I will redeem you. Now we're going to pray about that tonight. And you know what it means to be redeemed. If you're already redeemed and washed in the blood of Jesus, you know what it means to be redeemed from the power and the dominion of sin. The same thing God did for you at salvation. He said he will do for you in the rings of warfare. The statement that stands out to me here is this. Out of the hand. Out of the hand. That statement comes up twice. Out of the hand of the wicked, out of the hand of the terrible. Those four words, they mean a lot. Out of the hand. You know what it suggests to me? It suggests to me if you are going to be taken out of somewhere, it means you are already in that place. You are already in the hand of somebody. If God says, I will take you out of their hands. You know, sometimes... (laughs) You're already in their hands. That's the truth. You're already in their hands. You're already at their mercy. And many times, they grabbed Jeremiah. Many times, they threw him into prison. 
In fact, I am doing the reading of the book of Jeremiah for my yearly Bible reading now. I'm in the book of Jeremiah. And where I read today, Jeremiah was thrown into a pit that had no water. All right? So they threw him into an underground pit. But God says, even after they have grabbed you, hallelujah, even when it looks like you are at their mercy, I will still deliver you from their hands. I will still redeem you from their hands. Because Jeremiah heeded God's word. If thou will return, if thou will return, and Jeremiah returned from his depression, Jeremiah returned from his doubt of God, Jeremiah returned from his moaning and groaning and complaining that God has lied to him. Jeremiah returned. Consequently, each one of these five promises were fulfilled in his life. You know what we're going to do tonight in a minute? We're going to first pray tonight that from whatever and wherever you need to return, from wherever and whatever I need to return, God will enable us, all right? Some of us need to return from complaining and grumbling. Some of us need to return from doubt. Some of us need to return from fear. Some of us need to return from distrusting God. Some of us need to return from wondering and suspecting God that God might get you into trouble. When you do that and return, and we're going to pray that God will bring us up from wherever we are. Some of us don't even know where we are. And when we do that, his shield will be mightily upon us. And then when we pray about that, we will proceed tonight to pray about the five promises that God made to Jeremiah. And we will claim them. We will stand on them. You ready to pray? God is ready to answer. Come with me. Let us pray. Let's begin to pray by thanking God for bringing us together again tonight. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we adore you. Father, we honor you. Father, we glorify your name. Say, Lord, I thank you for counting me worthy to be one of those I will be praying in this place again tonight. It's mercy, oh, it's mercy, it's mercy, it's mercy. I don't take these things for granted that God has given me the opportunity to sit here and to lead this prayer tonight is nothing that I take for granted. It's, my, it's the mercy of God that makes these things possible. Father, we bless you that we are not tired. We bless you that we are not weary. We bless you that we are not giving up. We bless you that you brought us back together again to pray to you tonight. Father, I accept our thanks. Father, I accept our praises. Father, I accept our adoration tonight. Why don't you praise him like I prayed earlier for prayer? protection on us since last week, last Friday, when we left this place, God washed over us, God protected us, God kept us. Come on, give him praise. Come on, give him glory. Come on, give him honor. Come on, give him dominion. Give him majesty. Thank him because, thank him because the new things he started in our lives from last week, He they will be unstuck unstoppable things. Everything God started in our lives, the things he introduced into our lives, the things he removed from our lives, they are things that God is going to make permanent in our lives and I give God a praise for my own. And I thank God to, for you too for your own. Let's just give him praise. Let's just give him glory for what he did for us on this prayer line last week, for what he's going to do also in advance today. Let's give him praise. Hallelujah for the unwanted things that he took away from us and from the good things things that he put in our lives last week and for what he's going to do for us, the promises we are going to claim. Thank him tonight for the five promises that we are going to claim tonight. And God is not going to hinder any one of us from being recipients of this blessing of promise tonight. I wanted to thank him because all discouragement as a result of unending battles will be lifted for you tonight. Did you hear what I said? Discouragement from unending battles 
and battles that bring delays into people's lives. And when it becomes too long, you get discouraged, my friend, because uh, when you are waiting and waiting and waiting, if you are not careful, you become weary. And battles have a way of wearing people down. Battles have a way of wearing people out. I thank him. Because God is going to take care of all your discouragement, all your sadness, all your sorrow, all your expectations. Things that you've been expecting for so long and yet they have not materialized. I want you to say, Lord, I just thank you in advance that these things are going to be and I'm going to be encouraged. I'm going to rise up knowing that there is a tomorrow for me. Knowing that there is a blessing waiting for me in the corner of the room in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to thank him because all broken walls of protection around us shall be mended tonight. He said, I will make you a brazen wall. But what about if the wall is broken? What about if the wall is cracked? I want us to thank God because every wall that is cracked around our lives, every wall that God put around us that is already cracked, some are already falling flat. God is going to rebuild them. God is going to do something up for us tonight that it will be impregnable in the name of Jesus. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him for what he's going to do for you tonight in advance. I want you to pray that sin and unbelief will not hinder your prayers tonight. We've got some things to pray about tonight. And we don't want sin to be in our way. We don't want sin to be in our path. I want you to pray that, oh God, cleanse me and wash me and purge me of every iniquity, oh God, that may be in my way, that may be in my path to hinder my prayers tonight. He said, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. So we pray tonight, Lord God, every iniquity, oh Lord, every sin of omission, every sin of commission that may be present in this gathering tonight, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus will wash us, the blood of Jesus will cleanse us. The blood of Jesus will purge us tonight of any sin, any iniquity. Oh God, I want you to pray that all unbelief in you, God, will remove from you completely. Whatever it is that makes you not to believe God when you pray, the Lord will crush them and remove them far away from your life tonight. That the prayers you pray tonight, they will be prayers of faith. You will believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, remove every blockage, remove every hindrance. Whatsoever will hinder us tonight, I want you, Lord God, to remove it out of our way, remove it out of our hearts, remove it out of our lives, remove it from me who is leading this prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't because of me hinder their prayers, don't because of them hinder my prayers. Father, let the blood of Jesus flow all across this all across this line tonight in the name of Jesus. Can I ask you tonight to pray against all physical destruction, all electronic destruction, all spiritual destruction. Oh God, we don't need any distraction tonight in the name of Jesus. We want to pray with focus, oh God. We want to pray with focus, oh God. We want to pray with focus tonight, oh God. Father, we pray that you give us the strength to do so. You give us the grace to pray, to call upon you tonight in the name of Jesus. You said we will seek you and we will find you. When we seek for you with all our heart, we pray that our prayers tonight will be with all our minds, all our souls, all our spirits, all our hearts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, give us the grace to pray. Give me the grace to lead the prayers. Give me the strength to lead the prayers tonight in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know what God told Jeremiah? God told him, return, 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 return. You need to return, my friend. Say, oh Lord, strengthen me tonight to return. Say, oh Lord, strengthen me tonight to return. Say, oh Lord, empower me tonight to return. To return 
to, from where I am to where I used to be in the realm of the spirit. Oh Lord God, return to where I used to be in praying. Return to where I used to be in studying your word. Return to where I used to be in courageous living. Return to where I used to be in faith. Return to where I used to be in fearlessness. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus, Lord God, if I've strayed away like Jeremiah. I want you to just bring me back. It's not that Jeremiah went into sin. It's just that his consecration was lessened. His dedication was reduced. I want you to pray tonight. Say, Father, Wherever I've reduced my consecration, wherever I've reduced my dedication, wherever I've reduced, oh God, my running after God like I used to do before. Papa, I pray that you will bring me back, bring me back, bring me back. Somebody told me yesterday, she said, I'm going to, I think it was today before yesterday, she said, I'm going to pray. Uh, I will not be available from 6 p.m. to 12 midnight. And I said, are you having night vigil? And this lady said, no, I'm not having night vigil with anybody. It's it's me who is having this vigil. He said, I used to do it sometimes a week, sometimes three days. And then I got away from doing it. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, whatever I used to do that I got away from, whatever I used to do that the troubles of this life, whatever, whatever in this life, just push me off persecutions, trials, and temptations. They push me away from what I used to do that made me strong. Made me strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Lord, bring me back, bring me back. Like who brought Jeremiah back in the name of Jesus. The confidence I used to have in God, bring me back to it. The faith I used to have in God, bring me back to it. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for strength to return. Yes, Please pray, please pray, please pray. God, give me strength to return. Give me strength to return. In the name of Jesus, to where I used to be in the realm of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, to the place I used to live, to the place I used to dwell. In the realm of the Spirit. Father, bring me back to it. To the place of courage, where I used to be. To the place of fervent praying, where I used to be. To the place of consecration, where I used to be. For the place of courage, faith, and fearlessness where I used to be. Father, bring me back there. Bring me back there tonight in the name of Jesus. That was what God did for Jeremiah. He brought him back. And Jeremiah said, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Say, Lord, take me back. Say, oh, Lord, take me back to any good place that the troubles of life have shifted me from in the name of Jesus. Papa, take me back, take me back, bring me back to where I used to be before the troubles of this life, before the temptations of this life before the trials of this life knocked me off papa take me back tonight bring me back tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus take me back any good place in the name of jesus any good place any fiery place any serious place any deep place that i used to be oh god because before the troubles of this life before fire of this world burnt me away. Uh, Papa, bring me back, bring me back, bring me back, bring me back. In the name of Jesus, say, Lord, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, deliver me tonight uh, from the type of pain, from the type of frustration, from the type of discouragement that the wicked brought upon Jeremiah in the name of Jesus. If Jeremiah could be hit, you and I can be hit oh, in the name of Jesus. Papa, deliver me tonight. Deliver me tonight from that type of pain Jeremiah had, from that type of frustration Jeremiah had, from that type of discouragement that the wicked brought upon Jeremiah. Papa, remove them from me tonight. Papa, remove them from me tonight. Any garment of pain that I am wearing, any garment of frustration that I am wearing, any garment of discouragement that I'm wearing, oh Lord, remove them from me, remove them from me like you removed them from Jeremiah. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, you know, Jeremiah said, I repeat what Jeremiah said, Jeremiah said, God, you have deceived me. Hey, 
There's no telling what a discouraged person can say. Oh, there is no telling what can come out of the mouth of someone who is discouraged. Say, oh Lord, help me never to believe that God can deceive me. Oh, in the name of Jesus, help me never, 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 never. Come on, pray, 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 pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, come and help me never, never, never to believe that God can do the work of Satan, the deceiver. But that was what Jeremiah felt when he was down, when he was low. He said, God, you have deceived me. And God said, I didn't deceive you. I'm not a deceiver. The devil is the deceiver. Can I ask you to pray tonight? Every thought, every negative thought that you have entertained about God, every negative imagination that you have entertained about God, just for a split second, I want you to ask for the blood of Jesus to cleanse you tonight. Every thought that you have entertained about God that is not true, that is saying God is a liar, that is saying God is deceptive, that's not your God, and you know that. But troubles of life, hey, temptations of life, ah, trials of life can make you to start thinking what you never, never, never thought you could think of God. In the name of Jesus, say, Father, help me never, never, never to believe that my God can ever deceive me like Jeremiah believed that you deceived him. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I repent. In the name of Jesus, of whatever it is, in the name of Jesus. Papa, I repent of whatever it is that I've allowed to come between me and you, O oh God. Any distrust, any distrust that has come between me and you, let the blood of Jesus wash it away tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. When Jeremiah came back, the merciful God, hallelujah, the merciful God did not think about what Jeremiah said. Why did you do this to me? Why did you allow me to get into this? Why did you allow me to get into that? The moment he said, I'm sorry. God said, that's fine. Now I have to go back now to, to, to Jeremiah chapter 1. What I told you in Jeremiah chapter 1, the covenant I made with you in Jeremiah chapter 1, we got to renew that covenant tonight. Can I ask you to pray, oh Lord my God, say, oh Lord my Father, renew your covenant with me, oh God, as you did with Jeremiah in the name of Jesus. You never break covenants. It's men that break covenants. Say, oh Lord, every covenant of protection with me that are broken, oh God, I pray that you bring me back, bring it back, renew that covenant. Take me back to the chapter one of my life. When I got saved 15 years ago, 15 chapters ago, some of you 45 years ago, no matter when it was that you made that covenant with God and God made that covenant with you. But many waters, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Many waters have gone under the bridge, and the covenant is not as hot and boiling and as sharp as it used to be. Say, my father, renew your covenant of protection. You renew your covenant of consecration. You renew your covenant with me like you did with Jeremiah, oh God. I'm back, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I'm back by your grace. I'm back by your power. I'm back by your might. Oh Lord, renew with me, oh Lord, that covenant like you renewed with Jeremiah, oh God. Papa, I want to start afresh in my consecration. I want to start afresh in my walking with you and living for you. In the name of Jesus, let's go and claim the promises tonight, people. Five of them say, oh Lord, as I claim these promises, let them not fail me. Let them not fail me. As I claim these five promises that you gave to Jeremiah, let them not fail me because they never failed Jeremiah. In the name of Jesus, come on, pray, 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 pray. Don't look at the time. We got about 26 more minutes. Let me look at the time for you. You do the praying. I will do the timetable for you. Say, oh Lord, I claim these promises. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, they never fail Jeremiah. They shall not fail me. They will not fail me. They must not fail me in the name of Jesus. Yes, we all have terrible people around us. We all have wicked people around us. And God gave him these five promises. And he said, don't worry about it. I will make sure that you are protected. Say, oh Lord, as I claim these promises tonight, maybe this morning where you are, I want you to say, Lord, let them not fail me. Let them not fail me. Let them not fail me like you did not let them fail 
Jeremiah. Papa, let them not fail me in the name of Jesus. God said, I will. God said, I will. God said, I will. That was what he said to Jeremiah. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, my God, your unfailing, I will. Your unfailing, I will. Rewrite them, oh Lord, in my life. Rewrite them into my life. Sign the signature of I will upon my life, oh God. Sign the signature of I will upon the things that are tormenting me, oh God. Sign the signature that I will. I will deliver. I will rescue. I will save. Sign them upon the things I am I'm struggling with. Sign them upon the things that are troubling me tonight. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. Oh Lord, you're unfailing. I will rewrite them. Papa, you're unfailing. I will rewrite them upon my troubles, upon my problems. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, my father. Say, my father. I want you to will. I want you to will, daddy. I want you to will, Abba, father. To unfailingly fulfill these promises in my life that I'm about to pray about tonight. I want you to will it for me, oh God. To unfailingly, to absolutely fulfill these promises in my life. Remember your I wills, oh God. And fulfill them all for me tonight. There are so many I wills in the Bible. Maybe one of these days we are going to pray about the I wills of God. But for tonight we have this for Jeremiah. And these things are written for our learning. They are written for our examples. Say, oh Lord, every I will that you said to Jeremiah, I claim them for me, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, will it for me. Papa, will it for me. But will it for me. Holy Ghost, will it for me. Unfailingly fulfill these promises. I will fulfill these promises. I will do what I said. Papa, let them be, 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 let them be. Say, oh Lord, say, oh Lord, let's begin now with the promises. Uh, the first one is brazen wall. Hallelujah. Oh, brazen wall around you. Uh, say, oh Lord, make me a fenced brazen wall. Make me a fenced brazen wall. I want to become a fenced breaking wall to all oppositions that are fighting me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Papa, make me a fenced brazen wall to all oppositions that are fighting me. You know, some of us, we have to fast and pray before we are protected. But if you are living inside a fenced wall, you don't have to worry about it. God has surrounded you. Say, surround me, O Lord. Come on, open your mouth. Say, surround me, O Lord. Say, O Lord, surround me, surround me, surround my family, surround my children. I don't know where your children are tonight. Maybe they are far away from me, from you. Maybe they are close to you. Say, O Lord, wherever my children are, Wherever, O oh Lord, my husband is, wherever, O oh Lord, my wife is, surround them, surround them, surround them, around them, surround them, surround them, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, with a brazen wall of protection against all oppositions, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to pray that when oppositions come your way, they will run into a brazen wall and scatter, in the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, I cannot stop them from coming. But when they come, let them run into a brazen wall that you put around me tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, oh Lord, my God, say fortify me. Let there be a fortification around me, round about, round about, round about. Papa, fortify me with a wall of protection that is secured from being broken through. In the name of Jesus, say, oh Lord, fortify me, fortify my children. Children, oh Lord, fortify my wife. Oh Lord, fortify my husband. Oh Lord, surround my business. Oh Lord, surround my ministry. Oh Lord, surround my health. Oh Lord, surround the organs in my body. In the name of Jesus, surround my job. Oh, so many people are jealous. They want to take your position. They cannot. They will not. Pray tonight. Oh Lord, this job, you gave it to me. I prayed for it and you gave it to me. Surround my job. Surround my employment with a wall of protection. 
protection that is secured from being broken through in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh Lord surround my business you saw my business through COVID it's not going to be after COVID that I will now lose my business I reject it I reject it in the name of Jesus fortify us round about oh God with a wall of protection that is so secured that nothing will be able to break through into it in the name of Jesus shall we pray a prayer tonight say my father mm. say we are my walls of protection are broken down Papa, rebuild them for me tonight in the name of Jesus. We are my walls of protection, O oh Lord. We are my brazen walls have become wooden walls. We are my brazen walls have become leaves. I want you to just walk on it for me tonight. Every wall of protection that has broken down, I pray, O oh Lord God, that you will rebuild them for me tonight. Please pray, please pray, please pray, please pray. You never know. You may think it's there. It may not be there. Oh, I beg you, I please with you. Say, oh Lord, all my walls of protection that are probably broken down, I don't know, Lord Jesus. All my walls of protection that are broken down and I don't know, Papa, rebuild them for me tonight. Rebuild them for me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Maybe they are not broken, maybe they are cracked. I want you to pray tonight wherever the crack is in the wall that protects my life. Wherever the cracks are in the walls that protect my life, Life. Papa, seal them up for me tonight. Papa, seal them up for me tonight. I hope you are praying where you are, people. In the name of Jesus, your wall of protection, it must not be cracked. It must not fall. It must not tumble. Papa, oh Lord, uphold it, rebuild it, rebuild it, rebuild it, rebuild it. Rebuild protection around me like never before, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say no matter how hard, say no matter how hard, say no matter how hard the enemies fight against me, let them not overcome me in the name of Jesus. No matter how hard the enemy fights against me, no matter how hard the enemies fight against me, I shall not be overcome. I will not be overcome. I must not be overcome. Make that declaration. Say in the Lord, I make this declaration tonight. Say in the Lord Jesus, I make this declaration tonight. No matter how hard they fight against me, they will not overcome me. I shall not be overcome. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. No matter how hard the enemies fight against me, O Lord, let them not overcome me. Let them not be given the power to overcome me. In the name of Jesus, no matter what they are looking for, let them not get it. No matter what they are trying to take away from me, let them not get it. All their efforts, make them wasted efforts. All their efforts. Make them wasted efforts. In the name of Jesus. Please pray. Please pray that all their efforts. Make them wasted efforts. Ah, You see it in your dreams. Now you know something is going on. That's why God tips you off in your dreams. And you begin to dream of people taking guns around you trying to shoot you. But they cannot shoot the gun. You take the gun from them. That means something is going on somewhere. They shoot arrows at you. The arrows just pass you by in your dream. That means that God is giving you the victory. I want you to pray tonight. All efforts that are made against me. Papa, let them be wasted efforts. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. Say all efforts that the enemy is making against me. Oh Lord, let it be wasted effort. Can you open your mouth and pray tonight? Say all efforts against my health. All efforts against my finances. All efforts against my marriage. All efforts against my mind. All efforts against my ministry. All efforts against this prayer line. All efforts against, oh Lord, my children. I turn them into wasted effort. I pronounce waste on them. Papa, waste them. Papa, waste them. All wicked efforts against my children. All wicked efforts against my marriage. All wicked efforts, oh Lord, against my health. Oh Lord, destroy them. Oh Lord, destroy them. All efforts against my health. Papa, tear them down and destroy them in the name of Jesus. God said they are just wasting their time. I will save you, Jeremiah. I will save you, Jeremiah. I want you to pray. Say, oh Lord, let it be a waste of 
time. Whoever rises up against me to fight against me, let it be a waste of time. In the name of Jesus. Say, O oh Lord, they could not prevail against Jeremiah by your grace. They will not prevail against me also. God is not a respecter of persons. If they could not prevail against Jeremiah, they will not prevail against me or you. In the name of Jesus. So shall my portion be. So shall your portion be. So shall my portion be. So shall your portion be. So shall my portion be. So shall your portion be. Say, O Lord, no man born of a woman. No woman born of a woman. No fallen spirit that God created originally shall be able to prevail against me. You can tie black and white together. You will not prevail against me. You can go to the caves. You will not prevail against me. You can go under the earth. You will not prevail against me. You can go into the place of the dead. You shall not prevail against me. I see your hand. Oh, I see your hand. But you are wasting your time. You will not prevail against me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, no matter where, no matter where, no matter when, no matter where, no matter when, no matter with what. Did you hear what I said? No matter where, no matter when, no matter with what. Can I repeat that? Say, my father, no matter where, no matter when, no matter with what, let all battles against me end up with me having the victory. Let all battles against me, O God, end up with me having the victory. I declare victory for you on this prayer line. You shall be victorious over this sickness in your body. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, all battles against you, I don't care where they come from, may they end up in defeat for them and victory for you. That was what he said to Jeremiah. Oh, he said you will be victorious. My sister, my brother, say I shall be victorious. Say I will be victorious. Say I must be victorious. Say all threats, all threats that I see in my dreams with the mouth fashioned against me. Oh Lord, they were fashioned against Jeremiah. It amounted to nothing. Say oh Lord with me all also, they shall amount to nothing. They shall amount to nothing. They shall amount to nothing. I hope you are praying where you are tonight. We got just about 12 more minutes to go. I wanted to say all the threats in the name of Jesus that the mouth of people have been fashioning against my life. What they fashioned against Jeremiah, it amounted to nothing. Papa with me, oh God, it shall amount to nothing in the name of Jesus. It shall amount to nothing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say whoever rises up to fight against me, they shall they shall fall for my sake. All the 419 people that are trying to steal money from you, all the 419 people that are coming from the right, coming from the left, to steal money from you, to steal resources from you, may God deal with them. Send fire after them in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we send your fire. We send your fire. We send your fire after those who want to steal money from you and they are trying to trouble you, call you and do all kinds of things with you, but they don't know that you've got God on your side. Oh Lord, begin to fight them. Oh Lord, begin to fight them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. All their threats, all their plans. Papa, let them amount to nothing. Papa, let them amount to nothing. In the name of Jesus Christ. They are thieves. They are robbers. In the name of Jesus, judgment of God, let it be upon them. Judgment of God, let it be upon them. Judgment of God, let it be upon them. Papa, all threats that mouth are fashioned against you, O God, like they were fashioned against Jeremiah. It did not stand with them. It shall not stand with me. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, Papa, deal with them, O Lord, in your anger. Papa, deal with them. Them, oh Lord, in your anger, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, say, Oh Lord, arise, 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 arise tonight, arise and fight my battles for me, oh God. Come on, say, Oh Lord, arise and fight my battles for me, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, say, Oh Lord, arise, 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 fight my battles for me, oh Lord. All their threats, bring them to nothing, all their threats, let them go nowhere with me, oh. Holy Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus.
Jesus. I want you to pray tonight. Oh God, redeem me, redeem me from the hand of the wicked. Redeem me from the hand of the wicked. Redeem me from the power of the wicked. Redeem me from the dominion of the wicked. Redeem me from the influence of the wicked. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray for redemption. God said, I will redeem you. I will redeem you. Papa, redeem me. The same power that redeemed me from sin. The same power that redeemed me and brought me salvation. Let it redeem me and bring me salvation from the wicked. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same power. The same power that redeemed me from sin. That redeemed me from sin. Let it redeem me from all the people that are warring against me, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ. O Lord, let you redeem me, redeem me, redemption, redemption, redemption. I want you to pray. You know, that was why Jesus Christ came into this world to give you redemption and to give me redemption. Redemption shall be your portion. Redemption shall be my portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, deliver me, deliver me from every attack. Oh Lord, deliver me from every attack. Every attack where I'm sleeping. In the name of Jesus. I don't know why I want us to pray. Those who have your picture, those who have your picture and they are putting things on your picture they are putting pins on your picture they are taking your picture to evil altar say oh lord let fire meet with them tonight in the name of jesus those who are taking my picture oh god in the name of jesus they go to your facebook page they take your picture and they use it for things they put curses on it they put pins on it i want you to decree tonight say oh lord let it backfire let it backfire let it backfire in in the name of Jesus, let it backfire on them. I want you to pray that those who are taking the pictures of your children and they are using it for this, they, they see the birthday that you did. <laughs> My friends, you too, you expose yourself too much. You make too much noise for the world and you know you are surrounded. I want you to pray that we am surrounded by the enemy, oh God, and they are using these things against me. Let them not prosper. In the name of Jesus, let them not prosper. In the name of Jesus, let them not prosper in the name of jesus let them not prosper say every evil every evil that they are using my pictures with i want you to pray that your clothing hey yes 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 whatever has touched your body that is in the wrong place oh lord let it be useless in their hands in the name of jesus whatever they are doing with my pictures let it be useless in their hands whatever they have taken from me that they are using against me fire of god fire of god fire of god say oh Lord, they could not overcome as, uh, uh, Jeremiah because you stood with Jeremiah. They could not destroy Jeremiah because you stood with Jeremiah. Papa, let them not be able to destroy me. I am indestructible by your power. I am indestructible by your grace. I am indestructible by your mercy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know what God said? God said, I'm with you. Hallelujah. Oh. God said, I'm with you to save you. I want you to say, Lord, help me to relax. Relax. Help me to relax in that truth uh, that you are with me to save me. Uh, what are you afraid of? Uh, when God says I'm with you to save you, uh, I want you to pray that those who are with you to hurt you, uh, those who are with you to do you harm, uh, those who are with you to do you evil, uh, I pray, oh Lord God, they will not succeed. Uh, Papa, prove to them that you are with me to save me. Prove to them that you are with me to protect me. Prove, oh Lord, uh, you are with me to keep me at all times. Uh, he said, Jeremiah, don't worry about it. I am with you. I will save you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said they shall fight you. Oh, they will fight you in their dreams. They will fight you in your dreams. They will fight you in real life. But they shall not overcome me. I want you to pray that whoever is trying to overcome me, oh Lord, let fire consume their works. Let fire consume their works. The judgment of God shall be upon them all in the name of Jesus. Papa, you say you will be with us to save us. Come on, pray tonight, pray tonight, pray tonight. Say whether I am awake or whether I'm asleep. Papa, save me, save me, save me, save me, oh God. In the name of Jesus. You know what? Some trust in chariots. I want you to tell the Lord that tonight. Say, oh Lord, some trust in chariots, some trust in horses. But I will depend and I will trust in the name of the Lord my God. Father, let my confidence in me, in you, oh Lord be rewarded mightily tonight in the name 
of Jesus. Let my confidence that I have in you, O God, be mightily rewarded tonight in the name of Jesus. O Lord, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me, save me. Save me from every evil that is being projected at me, O Lord. I want you to pray that every evil projection, the Lord will destroy it in the name of Jesus. Ayah! You know what I read in the book of Jeremiah this morning? They said Jeremiah was in a con- ah, yeah, yeah. was in a conspiracy with the enemies of the land. They said he was in conspiracy with the Chaldeans. And he told them, he said, he's a lie. I am not what you say I am. I want you to pray tonight. Say every lie and every liar. Papa, shut it down tonight for me in the name of Jesus. Every lie from the pits of hell that are walking against me, O Lord. Every lie from the pits of hell that are being spread about me, O God. Papa, shut them down for me, O God. Papa, shut them down for me, O God. And all those people that are spreading the lies, Papa, slap them tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lie, every liar, every lie, every liar. Receive the judgment of God. Papa, judge them tonight. All those who go around lying, about me, O oh Lord. All those who go around saying I said things that I didn't say. All those who go around saying I did things that I didn't do. O oh God of judgment tonight, come down, O oh Lord, and fight for me in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, those that are supposed to stand up for me, they are standing against me, O oh Lord. These were his own people. These were the people of Jeremiah. They were they are from the same background. And yet, Yet, they stood against him. I want you to pray that those who are supposed to stand by me that are standing against me. Oh Lord, arise and judge tonight. In the name of Jesus, those who are supposed to fight for me. But they are fighting against me. Papa, arise and fight them tonight in the name of Jesus. Break their power. Break the yoke. Break their power. Break the yoke, break their power, break the yoke in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Those who are supposed to be with me, they walk away from me. I want you to pray tonight, all those that have walked away from you and they think you will be nothing in their own very presence. Make me something in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray the Lord will make you great in the presence of those who say you will never amount to anything. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray the hand of God will continually be upon you. The mercy of God will continually be upon you. The favor that Jeremiah received, I want you to pray that the Lord will let you receive such favor tonight. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Papa, make me strong. Make me a brazen wall. We are, we are stopping now in one minute. Say, Papa, just make me a brazen wall. Papa, just make me a brazen wall. Make me impregnate by witches, by wizards, by friends, and by enemies. Let them not be able to break into my life. Let them not be able to break into my dreams. Let them not be able to useless me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to cover yourself with the fire of God. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that there will be no counter attack as a result of the prayers of tonight. Say, oh Lord, cover me with your fire or protection. Cover me with your fire when I'm sleeping. Cover me with your fire when I'm awake. Anyone that rises up against me, let them fall for my sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, begin to thank God. Begin to give him praise. Begin to give him glory. Begin to say, Lord, I thank you for answering my prayers tonight. Thank you for making me what you want me to be tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. I bless you. I bless you. I bless you in the name of the Father. I bless you in the name of the Son. I bless you in the name of the Holy Ghost. May God's protection ever be upon your life. And whoever rises up against you, may they be under your feet, falling flat on the ground. Go and be successful. Go and be victorious. Carry these five promises and may they work for you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And amen, and amen, and amen. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We bless the name of the Lord for each and every one of you. Don't forget, we'll be back again tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, we'll be back again. 
please come join us. And don't forget next week. Yes, next week, Friday. There's something I want to do next week, Friday. You know those prayer points that you put in the envelope that we prayed for for seven months? Bring the envelope next week. We want to do something about those prayer points that are there. That will be next Friday, not tomorrow, next Friday. God sparing our lives. Please come with those envelopes. We want to do something about them next Friday. Shall we share the grace as we break for the day? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Go home, go rest, go sleep. We'll see you tomorrow at 7. Bye-bye.